Everything is not as it seems. This is that room over there. Oh, I'm gonna be so turned around. No, we're going in circles. Don't do this to me right now. One thing I really love as an artist is optical illusions. Wait a minute. <gasps> that is so cool. I wasn't expecting that. What's this one gonna be? A cube. Oh, oh. Well, your mind tries to make sense of something, but it really isn't reality. Let's think about it. <laughs> Can we go through this? Oh, it's not even a door. <gasps> no way. No. <laughs> it's little. Oh my gosh. I'm like Alice in Wonderland. Which is why today I thought it would be really fun for us to play a puzzle game that incorporates optical illusions and forced perspective. Hoo hoo. But I'll tell you one thing that isn't an optical illusion, and that is Epic Games. This video is partnered with Epic Games. I am part of the Supported Creator Program, so if you like this game and you want to actually check it out yourself, it is available on the Epic Games Store. Go ahead and put in I has Cupquake as you check out, you know, show me a little bit of love. Check out the link in the description if you would like to learn more and also check out some of the other game titles that they have. There is a lot. Pro tip, they have sales typically on Thursdays, so keep an eye out for that. But let's go ahead and get into Superliminal and get our minds blown together. At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending somnoscope technology patents and effective oh. dream therapy. Dream the therapy. Flagship clinic. Oh. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Is that me? Is that going to be me? Am I there? I'm there? Or am I going to go? I'm going to go there. Or did I? am I already there? I don't know what to believe. The game hasn't started and I don't know what to believe. Hey, oh, we're already here. Oh, I signed the terms. Sir. I did not agree to this, sir. I didn't really get to look it over. Oh, the door is open. Okay, we signed. We're here. We're going to do some dream therapy. Perception is reality. Ooh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Can I grab this? Oh. Excuse me, sir. Is it getting smaller? <gasps> what the heck? It's getting even smaller. <laughs> Am I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Oh. Sounds dangerous. Maybe I'm supposed to stack these? Oh, is it getting bigger? The box is, is big now. <laughs> Let's try moving these. Maybe there's a door or something. Oh, yes, indeedly. Okay, <laughs> let's make this bigger. So I gotta set it down here and then maybe a smaller one right here. I'm pretty sure I can make that jump. All right, first puzzle solved. No objects beyond this point. Oh, it's a door, okay. Okay, all right. Step on this. Hey. No objects beyond this point, but maybe this is here for a reason. Can I drop it over there? No. <laughs> Can I pick this up from... Oh, I could pick this up from over... Okay. That'll work. I'm gonna take you with me. You feel like you're important. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have to make you bigger, I think. Here. It's still pretty small. Do I have to just keep dropping it to make it bigger and bigger? I think... I think so. Oh, there we go. It's too big now. All right, I'm starting to get used to how you make things bigger and smaller. Oh! Confirm. I wasn't you expecting that. Freely, interact with oh, my gosh. Objects ...and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that this my so voice cool. has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Okay. Thanks, GLaDOS. I like this. Our first optical illusion. I can't grab that. 
I'm gonna take the paint with me. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. She doesn't care though, so I can't take anything. Oh, okay, can I reach this? Um, oh, maybe I put it in this one? There we go. At least they have nice and calming music, you know? Cheese? Um, am I supposed to put it over here? I think I'm supposed to make this bigger. <laughs> Even bigger. <laughs> yes. Wait, maybe there's a, something hidden? Is there anything? During eyelids, no. you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not okay. wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Okay. What is that door? I don't know if I believe her when she says that I'm dreaming. You know? Maybe that's part of the trick. Maybe they're doing experiments on me. What is this? I feel like this isn't part of it, right? I mean, there's nowhere else for me to go. Dream soda. Ooh. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation red. pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. What? Please return to the orientation pathway. I can't use this door. Okay. Let's go back. I'm not supposed to be here. Big old can of soda. Well, okay. Oh, I gotta put something in there. So let's put this little guy. All right. I wonder what was over there. Should I have gone and explored? <gasps> a broken glass. Uh oh. Is this gonna start turning like into a creepy dream? This. Am I supposed to grab? Okay, I got this. What's down there? That's so weird. Broken glass. So they're watching me. Hello. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. How do I get out of this room? Let's see. I made it real small. Does not want to go in there. Oh, we did it. I don't know how that registered. Okay, no objects. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. What? Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Can I put this through? I think... I don't think I could put this through the glass, but we gotta get this guy over there. How am I gonna get it over there? Maybe if I put it up here? Awesome. Okay. Ooh, look at these rooms. I like them. The themed rooms. Wait a minute. Wasn't that... Uh, hold on. This is that room over there. Oh, I'm gonna be so turned around. No, we're going in circles! Don't do this to me right now. Don't do this. Okay, this is the exit. This is supposed to be the exit. That's crazy. Okay. Door? There's a door? Where'd it go? That door over there. So... And why is that sign crooked? You know? Like... Maybe I could grab the sign. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. That works. Um, maybe I gotta make it like really big so it hits both of them. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, Please I like it. Please for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Okay, um, what is going on here, though? There's stuff that's broken. Oh, 
it looks like I'm supposed to explore, right? There's an exit there. So I grab the cheese, maybe... Maybe we open the door. But there's nothing there. <laughs> I can't go through. <gasps> like... Oh! Oh, oops! I broke it. Okay, um... I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go. This was... What was supposed to be over here? Okay, I want to open these doors. These look like a loading, like it's a loading dock. What does it load in and what is it or what does it load out? Patience. Here's an exit. Oh no! <sighs> Was that my alarm? Did I wake up? I think I might have woke up from the dream. Or am I still sleeping? Is it like Inception? Am I going deeper and deeper? Nobody likes that sound. 3 a.m. I think I woke up from the dream. My clock said 3, but this one says 2 something. 2.25? This is a different one too. All the clocks are different. This must not, this must be a dream still. Ooh, I like the way this looks. We're in a hotel now. Push to open. <laughs> I'll just take that with me then. Um, this one looks like another push to open. Oh no! Exit temporarily moved. Alright, I think I see an exit over here, but am I just gonna keep falling deeper and deeper? Oh! It's getting closer to me the closer I get to it. Let's check out these rooms. Oh, optical illusions. Yes. Wait a minute. <gasps> that is so cool. I wasn't expecting that. Where am I? Is this the other side? Another optical illusion? What? What? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just I'm just exploring. It says the exit is this way. Oh, this looks like a set. We're in another set. The exit is nowhere to be found. It keeps pointing me in circles. <laughs> Can we go through this? Oh, it's not even a door. <gasps> no way. Ah, I was tricked. I was tricked. That is crazy. Wait, can I pull this fire alarm? I don't know what happened. Maybe something changed. Another fire alarm. Anything happening? I don't know. Did I pull that one? Or are they all over the hotel? I don't want to go too far back. Oh wait, is this one right here? So confused. I think this was a new room back here. In here. Has this door always been open? No! <laughs> it's little! Oh my gosh. I'm like Alice in Wonderland. Ah! I can take all these exit signs though. Maybe I'm supposed to climb out of here. Right? Let's make this sign. Can I make it big? Is this it? Okay, I'm trying to exit. Oh, it doesn't let me climb it. <laughs> Am I not supposed to do this? Oh wait, no, I got it, I got it. What is up there? Oh my gosh. Wait, I wanna go see what's up there. Let's try to not fall. Okay, didn't work very well. I can go up here though. What is this? Nothing, there's nothing over here. Another fake. And there's a ladder here, if I wanna go back. Oh, look at this. I think I found some plans. All right, can I touch this guy? Hello, my name is oh. Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. Oh. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. No. But not to worry. We're working on it. <laughs> I think I probably went too deep in my sleep, and that voice was really a doctor. And they're talking to me while I'm in my sleep. 
I pulled all of the other ones. I really wish that there was a um a need for that. I was hoping. Oh look, maybe I can go up this way. Oh yes, we're getting some more illusions. What's this one gonna be? A cube. Oh, oh that is so cool! <gasps> I love it, I love it, I love it! Okay, I'm gonna put it down. There we go. <gasps> I love it, okay. Uh, oh, there's another one. There's a nut. Is it missing a piece? Wait a minute. <laughs> this shelf is an optical illusion. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, can I grab it? Can I grab, if I make this illusion, can I grab the vase? That is so cool. What else is an illusion? Oh, there's another fire alarm. I'm pulling them. Oh, something just popped. What just popped? What was it? Oh, it popped into reality. This is the missing piece. Okay. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yes. <laughs> I love this so much. This is so cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Oh. <laughs> You're a phony! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> a big fat phony! I love it. This game is keeping me on my toes. And I love it so much. Okay, we got more illusions in here. More optical illusions. Give me that. Thank you, sir. Where am I gonna... Where am I going to be able to see this? Maybe from up there, I think. Or can I bring the stairs up here? Oh, I can. Yes! Okay, exits now. Oh, oh, there's a little piece right here that I think is part of it. Oh! Yes! That is so cool! Now our door just magically appears. Okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Yes, hello, and hello. I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. Thank you. We still don't know, but oh. please keep moving forward. Very helpful. And hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <laughs> Well, thank you for the update. That's very helpful, very settling. Oh, okay, we got some green paint. It looks like a chest plate. We have a puzzle right up there. Let's see if I could... Oh! Okay. Oh, there's another thing up there. I'm pretty sure I got to view it from over here. <laughs> I'm outside. There's an outside. Before I go outside, I'm going to... Yeah, let's go outside. <laughs> let's go outside now. Oh, we got saving. Wait a minute. I want to go... I want to go see this. Let's go see this before. I'm back in the hotel. Oh! <gasps> there is something to this, and I am going to get to the bottom of it. All right, now I can go outside because we got our little save point. Where are we? The exit. Oh, we got another update. Please tell me it's good news. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. <laughs> and we still can't find you, but you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs oh, that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? <laughs> Absolutely. I don't believe you, sir. We are weaving through these dreams. Hopefully, by pulling these alarms, um, it'll sound the alarm to wake me up. Ooh, I like this room. It's nice. I wouldn't mind staying here. I almost missed it. I hope I didn't miss any in the very beginning. Oh, another alarm. I am stuck yet again. <laughs> Oh, I just grabbed this. I grabbed the moon. Is there another? There's another message on the moon. Hello, my Hello. name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event oh, that this an exit door. does not wake you up, 
please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. <laughs> Is it there? Can I go through the exit? Okay. Cool. If I see my parents... I'm going to have to punch them in the face. The elevator. We've reached the elevator. Don't get lost. What if there's a fire? Oh, I don't know. It's a dream we'll never wake up to. Oh, I love the loading screen. <laughs> this time is 4 a.m. I don't know if I'm going deeper in my dreams or if I'm waking up and going in the right direction. But that is going to end today's episode. I hope that you all are enjoying this game. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know if you want me to continue this because this is so interesting. I love it when games play with your mind like this. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. My name is Cupquake and I will see you all later. Bye.